guys so we're gonna be reviewing this TBX 2 to 3 so this is um, active crossover and I want to see what's inside of this are you guys ready I'm also you know I'm also excited on what is inside of So, I didn't found my Allen wrench, so what I do, what I have done is I bought some Allen wrench from Ace Hardware, and here they are. So, it's branded Stanley, so I'll sub a review. So, I'm gonna be disassembling this, because I can't turn these things, you can see. I can't turn this, this locks the... the the top panel which would show us the board and how good the components of DBX is so I'm gonna be opening this okay there you go. Oh. all right so here we go guys so I've now unlocked so let's see which one fits I think this one the middle fits on my So I think this fits right there. Oh no, it's a little bit bigger. So I'll be using the smaller one. It holds perfectly, it means it's for that. So let me just try again. I might blow it. It works and the oh see it turns wow thank you god it now turns see so I can now remove the wow thank you god lord it worked And here is the internal parts of your DBX Sudo 3 and very good motherboard. I was thinking it's like um, having some ground, but as you could see, it's a TL074CN. It's using those kind of integrated circuits. So as you could see, it's really a solid looking crossover I really like how it looks see it's very solid it's using a green motherboard and I really like how this thing looks you can see it looks very handsome if it's a boy if it's a girl it looks very beautiful gorgeous see that that's the inside of the DBX Sudo 3 it's really good looking so you can see guys here are the I think that's for the mids and the, the high and the sub the low so it really have a very good components you can really make a very good sounding active crossover so I'm really glad about what I see As you can see there are no problems oh yeah so our only problem when you have an issue is this this um, this for the I think so let me show you the front panel so that you could visually check how these things go so so you could see here in front you could see here our this is our this is our crossover so as you could see in you could see the crossover it has two potentiometers and it looks like it's hard to find one of those maybe you just need to order one of those online but you can see the parts is very solid and I cannot see anything that I can you know like it's not it's the China made it's American so you can see there are no marks of of you know problematic things but as you can see it's a really good sounding process um, signal processor D back to the tree stereo two-way or mono three-way crossovers you can see I keep on 
pressing the switch but I have no problems at all when I use it on my system so as you can see here I think this is the that's the the you know uh, what do you call this that is the the power IC of the power supply going to our active signal processor as you can see it's a really good signal processor and I can't blame DBX223 with that and as you can see it's a really as you can see the components they are still solid as they should be and there's just a little bit of um, you know dust and rusting of course because of time but I think it's, it would still be okay and I don't think you could easily find one of these kind of knobs these potentiometers out there maybe you could find a cheap one but it would not give you the quality that this kind of potentiometer would give it really gives a feeling of you know like a clicking thing and you know guys this is a very good crossover as you can see here they're using that so as you can see it in the camera it's a TL074 CNST so it's ST electronics it's a dual op amp operational amp amplifier so you know the, the this has a variable crossover so I always set mine at about 45 Hertz it's the sub it's the sub frequency I like that frequency although it shakes your house yes <coughs> Sorry for coughing, but it's a very good crossover and I don't see any repair here and I really love this. So thank you guys for watching and hope you subscribe and like for more professional audio things and this is DBX 3 so if you think DBX 3 is faking is fake or not, you just check the internals and try to try to compare it with mine here as you can see in the picture. It is a C. What would be the problem in this here kit? So I would not disassemble, disassemble this further because you know I might just destroy it. And I just, I just wanted to show the inside of this very good active crossover. So I'm visually inspecting. I cannot see any kind of short circuit if there are because I saw some ants crawling on this on this active crossover and I hope and pray that don't that there would be no ants that would lurk here in this active crossover. There are resistors, mylar capacitors, integrated circuits, capacitors, some potentiometers, some knobs and power supplies. You see this and see the winding but I think this is just about Okay guys, so thank you for watching. This is Miss Flexi on the SMPS and make sure to subscribe on my channel to see more of my professional audio things. Thank you for watching.